guys, so I'm here with Albert. I'm gonna turn him around. I think he's got a bit of wind, bless him, um, to do my newborn must-haves. And basically, I had filmed this video about 10,000 times and just hated every single one that I uploaded, hated every single one that I filmed. So hopefully, if Albert's gonna kind of let me film and not be grunty, I can get on and do it. So the first must-have that I'm gonna talk about is the sleepy head. Now, the sleepy head, uh, with Sebastian, I had a poddle pod. I have done a newborn or not to six month must haves video with um, Sebastian and I'll link that below. I did mention the poddle pod in there. A poddle pod is basically like a pillow with a dip in it. And um, a sleepy head is a mattress with a thing that comes, kind of like a bumper that goes around it, like a big giant noodle. And the, the great thing about the sleepy head, it's very costly, but it's so worth the money. I was really skeptical at first, but it is worth the money, is that it feels like they're being cocooned or being hugged, like, um, you know, rather than having their arms kind of all over the place in like a big space in say the co-sleeper or in the cot or in the Moses basket. It is also proof for overnight sleeping, which is fantastic because um, the pod pod isn't, but I do know, I did, Sebastian slept in his. Um, we do have a baby monitor, breathing baby monitor, which I'll go on to in a minute, and that does reassure you as well. You can get the Toddle Pod um, Grande as well, which is an even bigger Toddle Pod, uh, not Toddle Pod, sorry, Sleepy Head, which fits in the cot as opposed to the co sleeper. So if your baby outgrows it and, and they still like them, then you can get the bigger size. So that's fantastic. Okay, the next newborn must have is the Chico Next to Me Co Sleeper or a Co Sleeper of any kind. There's loads of other brands out there and basically when, with Sebastian I had a Moses basket and it was I didn't pay I didn't get it new I got it second hand and I'm so glad I did I had to kind of break it in order to fit the pod pod in there um, and even then he, he just hated it and you have to kind of go like they don't come up very high often not up to the level of the bed so you have to kind of go in and get them they're also really hard to tilt as well if you've got a baby with reflux I just found it a bit of a waste of of money especially if you buy one new then and the same even with the little cribs i think they tend to outgrow them pretty quickly um whereas the co-sleepers particularly the one we have which is the chico next to me is a really good size and i know babies who are eight nine months old who are actually still in them um and you can put the side up so if they're not kind of at the point where they're on their knees or kneeling up if you're still kind of co-sleeping and feeding in the night then they're perfect because then you know that your baby you don't have to have a big cot by the next to your bed you can just have the the next to me the other great thing about it is that it reclines so it has like you click it down the side and it goes to an angle which is what we have for albert having that he's got given that he's got reflux is also big enough to fit the sleepy head in or a pod or pod as well I absolutely love it. It's the best thing that we've bought. I did buy it secondhand off a friend and you can pick them up secondhand um, as well on eBay in various places. It's fantastic for traveling. It can, folds down. It looks massive, but it folds down really, really small or flat in a bag and it's really really quick and easy to assemble so if you're traveling you know you don't have to worry about your co-sleeping arrangements the next thing that is a must-have and i may have mentioned this in my last video i can't remember is a, a baby monitor but with a breathing sensor i know people's children some people's children will only sleep on their front it's not recommended at all but I know I do know babies. Um, I know Emily Norris's little boy Jackson sleeps on his front because they just will not sleep any other way. Um, the best way to really make sure that you're safeguarding is like you know that everything's safe is to get a breathing monitor. And basically, it's a pad that goes underneath the mattress. And if your baby or child is not moved or breathed or anything in 20 seconds, it will sound an alarm. So it's absolutely fantastic. It's so reassuring. It just means that you can also sleep knowing that it will go off if anything were to happen. My next new must have are baby grows with the scratch mitts built in so baby grows in general basically um albert had a lot of clothes pretty much all the clothes that he's in are um sebastian's hand-me-downs however he's a lot bigger than sebastian was and also i'm just not a fan of putting babies in like little babies in proper proper clothes i like them in baby grows just because i think they're not this age for very long so I mean, with Sebastian, I did go through a stage where I think when he was about three months, I decided he was just going to be in baby grows. And he spent most of his time in baby grows. He was just so much more comfortable and I was able to get some really pretty ones. Um, and I just felt like he was a baby, baby for much longer. 
Um, so we have got a few little outfits like trouser outfits for Albert, but I'm trying to get some wear out of them. And then I think we'll probably just stick to kind of very comfortable rompers and, um, and grows and things like that. If I was to do it all again and I didn't have any clothes at all, or if I was on a budget, I would literally get five of these in every size and five vests and that would literally be all you need you really do not need much at all. the next thing is dribble bibs so albert is now nine weeks old and he started to dribble probably like really dribble at around week eight week seven week eight that could be teething or the start of teething i did wonder if it was reflux but i do think it might be the start of teething because sebastian was teething at a, around this age i remember at 12 weeks he really um he, that was when it really started for him and so for that reason dribble bibs are absolutely fantastic um, it just means that you can um, you know don't have to worry about changing the outfit all the time you can just change the bib and these ones are by Cherry Boo Boo who I did a review on her products before I'll link that down below and she does beautifully beautifully beautiful quality dribble bibs but also that they're fleece backed which basically means that the baby's skin isn't going to get wet it wicks away moisture so they're absolutely fantastic and the quality is amazing next newborn must have is a bath item and that's this it's basically just a baby bath sponge and i think i got it for this one i got in mother care i think it was a bit more expensive like a fiver but you can buy them for like a pound in the pound shop and you can go out and buy like really expensive like bathing stuff for babies and i know there's like the angel care bath seat and stuff but personally i just think that there's a bit of a waste of, not a waste of money it's just a lot of money it would require you filling up the bath to quite a substantial height which means you're using quite a bit of water um with this you can lay it in the bath and not use that much water um but i actually do also have a baby bath which to some people again feel that that's a bit of a waste of money but for us a baby bath hasn't been the, the reason it hasn't been is because it means that I can fill up the baby bath and not have to fill up the whole bath. It, it, so therefore it makes it quick and easy and also more economical to fill. I can pop this in and they can lie down. And then as they get older, Sebastian used to still sit in his baby bath, but sit using this as like a seat. So it's kind of more padded and more comfortable. And then a baby bath is also fantastic in the summertime for water play and messy play outside. We used to do get shaving foam and fill it with foam and soap and all sorts. So it's just a really good tub that you can pick up dead cheap and use for various different things sometimes i bath sebastian and albert together and i can still use this kind of hold it if that makes sense a bit like a lilo basically um the only thing with them is that sometimes i think they can go moldy you have to wring them out like mad and then i pop it on top of the radiator and it's bone dry and doesn't go moldy that way i had sebastian's for quite a long time with not a single no issue with it the next thing is are these and i did i did do a haul a while ago which you guys may have seen where i bought these these are frugi nighties i love the brand frugi um i love their organic clothing and just love love that brand and love the patterns and prints this also has scratch mates as you can see on the side and um, it's naught to six months and it has open bottom here so um it just makes changing in the night if you do have to change them so much easier and quicker you don't have to be doing um poppers or anything like that you can just roll them up and also i think it's just a little bit cooler as well particularly if it's warm another thing that i recommend is a bouncer so the bouncer that we got is the i think it's um summer and comfort or something by bright starts and um basically it's just a bouncer that has a light vibration setting on it some music as well and they kind of either bounce it themselves and they get excited or you can just use your foot and bounce it now sebastian albert didn't like the swing that i originally had which was sebastian i don't think sebastian liked it much either you can you're able to kind of with the vibration it kind of gives that kind of like car movement rather than a swing that's just going back and forth it's actually like shaking like a car so albert much much prefers that to um to a swing white noise or you and the sheep of you and the sheep i haven't got him with me but basically it's just a big sheep with a purple head or i think they do a gray one now and you press its legs and it plays white noise now they're really expensive i think they're quite expensive um we bought one for sebastian and he didn't really think much of it i mean it did help a bit but it wasn't like the most fantastic thing we bought however with albert he really responds to white noise but you and the sheep isn't doesn't seem to be loud enough um so we have been using apps on our phone best app that i have is an app called relax rain and you can get it free on google i 
Play Store. And it's basically just an app where, which plays rain and all sorts of things. And basically it's, um, even though it plays rain and stuff, you can play different types of rain. So like rain in the sea, rain in the city, rain on a tent. And then you can like have an option for a timer and also an option for thunder as well. Another must have as well is one of these. Um, this is a nasal sucker, so um, it seems really gross, but it has a filter on the end. You can get the ones with like a big sponge or like a big rubber puffer thing, but they're meant to be rubbish. This one's really good. You just put it in your mouth, just stick it up the nose and then suck basically. It seems really gross, but it really, really works for getting out snots, especially if they're congested. Um, the best way to do this is to actually use it with the saline drops. The saline drops on their own, for me, I just felt that they didn't, A, they didn't work and B, they seemed like the babies would just scream whenever they get used. So it just seemed really awful. I just didn't want to put Albert through that. So I just much prefer that it's quicker and um yeah much much easier this is this is probably my top must have is a sling either a sling a soft structured carrier like so or a wrap be it a woven or a stretchy like this one i am going to do a video on um the different types of carriers that are available um because although i've done some baby rain tutorials i haven't actually done any on like what is available out there because it's a bit of a mindful as well i think carriers um and there's things that I would recommend as well and things that I wouldn't recommend. So I'm going to do a video on it. If you are first, like, if you are first time and you're just starting out baby wearing or whatever, um, I would highly recommend a stretchy. And if you don't want to do the wrapping, I would recommend something like a close kaboo, which is basically already kind of wrapped for you, if that makes sense. Um, but it still has the same softness as a stretchy wrap. Babies, um, if you, I highly recommend you guys read up on the fourth trimester. It's basically just talking about the first three months after a baby is born where they just want to be held all the time. They've just fresh out the womb. They don't want to be put down. They don't want to go in their Moses baskets. Um, they just want to be held and snuggled and swaddled, some of them, you know. So it, it's quite worth reading about. And so a sling really helps in that fourth trimester. So the first three months, um, particularly, just because if you've got a baby that, that anything can be sorted with a sling, I believe, you know, if they're, they're windy, um, keeping them upright will help them bring up their wind. If they've got reflux, helping keeping them upright will help them, um, you know, keep bring their food down. Um, and it will just calm them down if they're crying. They always love being skin to skin and next to you. So a wrap or a carrier is really good. Um, this is a Tula. You can get an other sort of soft structured carrier such as Ergo's connectors. Um, and they're really good too. Um, but you would need to get a newborn insert with those. And they're probably not as kind of snuggly as the, as the wraps are. But they again are a really good option. So that is definitely, definitely a must have, especially if you've got other children, like seriously think about getting one because that means that you can put your baby in the sling, you can carry on cooking, carry on playing with your kids, doing whatever you need to do um, and know that they're settled and happy. So I think that's it for my newborn must haves. There's probably other things that are gonna cross my mind, but right now I can't think of anything. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.